Guys, recently somebody was asking me what to do whenever they're feeling lazy. <laughs> oh my goodness, how many times do we all feel lazy or even we want to feel like we can be lazy. We'd like to spend as much lazy and leisure time as possible. That's kind of our innate nature to look for all of those things that just kind of bring us pleasure. But you know, growth happens when you're uncomfortable. If you look at the at the gym, a lot of times they draw like a little circle on the board and they put a little dot right outside the circle and the, the dot, they say, this is where growth happens and the circle is your comfort zone. So you have to get outside of the comfort zone uh, in order to grow. And uh, whenever you're feeling lazy, one of the best things you can do is you can say, I have lots of energy. And you can just keep telling yourself, I have lots of energy. You don't want to listen to the voice that says, I'm just lazy, that's my nature. Because that's going to keep playing over and over and over in your head, and you'll start believing it. And then you just call yourself a lazy person. You binge watch on the Netflix, and you spend all day on the couch, and get nothing accomplished in your purpose in life, because you've just hit play on the record again and again and again. So, you have to break the record, crash that CD, get rid of it, erase the MP3, whatever it takes, delete it, and press record on the new button. And the new button says, I have lots of energy. I have lots of energy. And you wanna keep telling yourself. So that's, a, that's one great way. Another way is to attack the day. If you are feeling like a lazy person, then the, what you absolutely have to do is you have to get out of bed right away. Set an alarm and leave it on the other side of the room so that you have to get up. Like you wanna, boom, you wanna get up right when that alarm goes off, boom, get out of bed. We all know that the hardship comes, like the hardest battle is whenever you are in bed and the alarm goes off. That's when you're battling that evil inclination the most because you just wanna lay there. You wanna cover back up and stay warm, especially in the winter time because it feels so good. So in order to break that habit, you have to do it fast. You have to just get up because we all know that once you get up, you're like, oh yeah, I really didn't need to, to stay sleeping. Sometimes you'll sleep for, let's say four or five hours. You feel great. You have awesome energy. You're like, oh, that was a fantastic day. Another day you sleep for 10 hours and you still feel horribly tired. So we have to realize that our energy does not come from our sleep, right? Energy is coming from where? Every good thing only comes from God. So all of your energy is coming only from God. So here's what I want you to try. Before you hit the bed tonight, pray to God and say, and I learned this from a dear friend, said, pray to God, say to God, Lord, I know that my energy does not come from the amount of time that I stay asleep. The sleep is so that you can give me a new day tomorrow with a new perspective. And that's why I'm going to sleep, so that you can wake me up with a new perspective. And I pray that you would give me energy for tomorrow, to take on tomorrow, to not let the tomorrow come at me and I just react, but for me to take on tomorrow. Please give me your energy, because I know that that is actually where the energy comes from. It is not coming from my sleep. Thank you, Hashem. Good night. <laughs> right? And then wake up the next morning and boom, hop out of bed. Because once you get up, you'll realize right away, it, I actually did not need to sleep more because God has given you the energy. And then thank him for it. Jump around a little bit, do a couple jumping jacks and thank him for it. Um, if you need a little bit of help in the morning, you can take like a little bit of peppermint oil or something like that and put it like right underneath your, your nose there. And that'll help kind of get get your brain active and get you moving. Um, you wanna just get out of bed as quick as you possibly can and that'll help you get on with your day. Um, they say it takes 30 to 40 days to break a habit. So keep telling yourself, I have lots of energy. Keep jumping right out of bed. And then when you have a task, don't put it off. Get to it right away. Like that's how you're gonna fight and get yourself past lazy is get to your tasks right away. Uh, whenever you have a task, boom, let's do that. Whenever you need to get to work, all right, let's get out the door to work and just go, go, go. If you do that for 30 to 40 days, you will see that complete turnaround and you will not feel at all like a lazy person. You'll be amazed at how much you accomplish. May God give us all um, the wisdom to not be lazy, uh, but to continue to ask him to give us 
uh, the blessing of energy and the blessing of wisdom to know what our purpose for the day is so that we can go out and make it happen. You know, Abraham wasn't lazy. Sarah died and he had not gotten the promises that Hashem had made to him. He did not have any land. He did not have any grandchildren. Like the land and the, the promise of being the father of many nations had not taken place and his wife died. He's like 100 and what, like 37 or something? And what does he do? You think he's lazy? Absolutely not. He goes into action. All right, Eliezer, my servant, let's go find a wife. Like, let's make this happen. We're going to get into action and we're going to go. This is what I want. This is what I want you to do, etc. cetera. Um, he also, before that, you see that he's not lazy. God gives him a promise, but he's active in, in um, participation. He uses his wife's death to make a tacoon. Like, he doesn't have any land until his wife dies, and there is an opportunity now. Now he has the land. So God gives us a vision, and we need to participate in that. God's going to pull back a little bit so that we can get in there. It's like um, whenever I'm training guys at work, I don't want to constantly be doing the work for them and then pay them. <laughs> I want to train them so that they can do the work and they can feel good about making the money. If I just gave them a paycheck day after day with me doing all the work, how are they going to feel? Like the, the first paycheck might feel really good. <laughs> wow, though, what a great boss. He gives me pay for free. But eventually you're just going to get like bored and tired and I can't stand this job. I'm not actively doing anything. So you want to get in there let God pull back just a little bit and you get in there and do what you need to do. And then you'll really feel like you have a purpose and that you've done what the Creator wants you to do. How about that? I hope you guys have a fantastic day being motivated. Make that engagement and may you be blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching.